Welcome to Mornings with Mark. The passage that I'm meditating on this morning is John chapter 12, verses 1 through 11. Today's Monday of Holy Week, and each day this week I'll be meditating on the gospel lesson that's recommended for that day. And so this day takes place six days before the Passover. Six days before the Passover, Jesus came to Bethany, the home of Lazarus, whom he had raised from the dead. There they gave a dinner for him. Martha served, and Lazarus was one of those at the table with him. Mary took a pound of costly perfume made of pure nard, anointed Jesus' feet, and wiped them with her hair. The house was filled with the fragrance of the perfume. But Judas Iscariot, one of his disciples, the one who was about to betray him, said, Why was this perfume not sold for 300 denarii and the money given to the poor? He said this not because he cared about the poor, but because he was a thief. He kept the common purse and used to steal what was put into it. Jesus said, Leave her alone. She bought it so that she might keep it for the day of my burial. You always have the poor with you, but you do not always have me. When the great crowd of the Jews learned that he was there, they came not only because of Jesus, but also to see Lazarus, whom he had raised from the dead. So the chief priests planned to put Lazarus to death as well, since it was on account of him that many of the Jews were deserting and were believing in Jesus. The word of the Lord. Yeah, well, this struck me. There's so much in this, of course. Uh, I'm going to try to keep it simple, though. What has really struck me in this is how Judas names an issue that's huge. And it's a real issue. But it's not the issue at the heart of what's going on at the moment. Not the real issue that's going on at the heart of, of Judas. And not really at the heart of what's taking place in that room. Dealing with poverty, helping the poor is important. That's always ongoing, a huge issue for us to be wrestling with. But sometimes what we do is we, we take these big issues, these other issues, and we kind of throw everything into that and don't deal with what's really happening right here, right now, in us, uh, among us, between us. And so we see this in our society right now like crazy, where there are major issues that we've got to wrestle, we've got to deal with, but we focus so much attention on those things that we don't deal with what's going on in our own hearts and in our own lives, just with each other. And we don't want to do one as opposed to the other. We need to do both. But even in families, we often just point our fingers, blame that thing over there, or the thing we're feeling so emotionally uh, aggravated about, and the issue that we really need to be dealing with at the moment is something else. I love how Jesus here receives the gift that Mary offers him. And I hear God say it to me, even though my gifts and what I'm trying to do, what we're trying to do, all that's imperfect. It's never enough. We offer what we can. Jesus takes it, receives it, and can use it for good. And we can take a, a, a breather. And pay attention to what's really going on here as well as what's going on out there in the big, big world. Let's pray together. Lord, there is so much in this passage. First of all, thinking of you heading toward the cross, aware of what's ahead. And of Mary giving such a costly gift to you that, you know, maybe she could have, should have given something else. But... She's doing the best she can. God, thank you for so many in our congregation and our world who are doing the best that they can. We're trying. And forgive us, God, for uh, being so judgmental of one another and of not celebrating the gifts we give, trying to do better for sure, but also, Lord, not allowing ourselves to get caught up in issues that keep us from dealing with what's really going on in our own hearts and in our own relationships. Help us this Holy Week, we pray, to follow you on the path 
and to deal with the real issue of sin in our own hearts and relationships. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you.